think a lot about creativity and the process of making stuff and wanted to talk about a feeling that I get every now and then where it feels like I just can't catch up, which then compels me to start making things out of an anxiety around not being able to go back in time. I'll tend to spend long days at the computer, urgently working and making things, most of the time losing the sense of enjoyment. So here's a voice memo about healthier mindsets to live by as a person who does creative things from time to time. And hopefully they can help you too for whenever you might get caught up in anxious thoughts. Creativity cannot be forced. It must be nurtured. Deep down, I've always known this. When I was young, I was very happy with doing creative things in my own space and time without anyone knowing it. At some point, I started looking for someone or something to reassure me that I'm creative. I needed to prove to the world that no matter what, creativity is part of my identity. But creativity used in this way can be dangerous. Some of the most creatively accomplished people in the world feel equally as disappointed in themselves for not doing better and are stuck forever in an inferiority complex. And for me, forcing myself to make stuff under this mindset, I tend to skimp on quality and on just enjoyment of the process. Channel the inner child when you make things. Allow yourself the time, supply yourself with the proper ingredients, and nurture a space of thoughtfulness and patience to make things that you're proud of and things that make you happy. Invest the time to learn the skills. Allow your skills to grow in a safe and comfortable environment. Then, as time goes on, you'll naturally love your creativity again. I myself am still practicing this, but it's something that I want to live by. That one in the back is starting to have that Resting is as important as making. This is more of a productivity thing, but give yourself permission to take a break. And not just going through the motions, but really engaging in the break. Whether it's watching TV or a movie, taking a bath or going on a walk, going on vacation to a foreign country even, it's important that I'm fully and mentally in the break and moving on from the work. Try not to come up with new concepts in your head, making mental notes of new directions for your projects. Just be. It's not easy, but it's good for you. I know I need to take a break when I've been looking at the same edits for the last 30 minutes and I just can't come up with something different. Or maybe I'm not in the right state of mind. I could be tired, sleep deprived, or just really hungry. This is a good time to take a break. This is a good time to take a step back, do something else, and then come back. Trust in yourself that the time away will allow you to come back with fresh eyes. Just don't forget to hit save. You are the youngest that you'll ever be. After every birthday, I used to think, wow, I'm getting old. It is true, as time goes by, I'm aging, and every year I just get older. That's just how things are. So it doesn't help anyone to always think negatively about getting older because aging is just a part of life. It also doesn't make sense to hold yourself back from trying new things or enjoying hobbies because of this idea that you're too old to do so. Time will always go by. Thinking back to old times, I always say, wow, I was so young back then. But rarely did I relish in those moments the fact that I was young. Stress around age just takes you away from enjoying where you are now, and that just puts you in a tough spot if you want to do creative things. Create for you. Nowadays, the most accessible way to share your art form is through posting on something like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and the likes. It's tempting to catch the wave, chase the algorithms. It's not news, but it's probably worth reiterating that the algorithms are business-driven and do not necessarily have any individual artist's best interest in mind. There's some representation of what most people like consuming or what these tech companies want people to be consuming, but just make sure that what you make is what you want and really deep down. The stuff that I've made and I'm most proud of are the things that I love and would read or listen to over and over again, even if no one else liked it. 
Well, if I were to share those things out to the world, of course I'd hope other people would like it too, but people are going to have their own opinions and maybe they're just not interested, and that's okay too. It's mind-blowing how much power these content platforms have over someone's mentality around their ability to make it as an artist. Just be aware of that and make your own choice around how you want to take your art. Just do what matters to you. Honestly, it took me some time to reach these conclusions, and sometimes I'll let my anxious thoughts get the best of me. But I'm practicing how to own my own creative process and definitions of success. These are my decisions to make for me, and your decisions to make for you. If any of this resonated with you, let me know in the comments. Let's start a conversation. Hope this video helped you today, and happy creating!